The investigation titled Lyudmila is no longer Putin from the Russian news site Sobosednik revealed that Russia's former first lady has remarried and changed her last name. Very little is known about the personal life of Russian President Vladimir Putin, one of the most powerful and feared politicians in the world. And of course, even less has been reported about Putin's ex-wife, now known as Lyudmila Ocheretnaya. The special thing in this video is that we will give you information about the hidden life of Lyudmila, who is considered hated by Russia's first lady. Let's get started. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. Despite his prominent global position, little is publicly known about the intimate details of his family and personal relationships. What is known, however, offers a tantalizing glimpse into the private world of one of the world's most powerful leaders. Putin's marital history is a subject of much speculation and limited confirmed information. He entered into matrimony with Lyudmila Alexandrovna Putin in 1983, marking the beginning of a union that would endure for decades, yet remain veiled in the murky depths of Kremlin secrecy. Together they embarked on a journey that traversed the corridors of power and the tumultuous landscapes of modern Russian history. The union produced two daughters, Maria and Ekaterina, whose existence provides a rare foothold for those seeking to unravel the enigma of Putin's private life. Maria, the elder of the two, was born in 1985 in Russia, while Ekaterina's birth took place in East Germany. This geographical diversity hints at the complexities of Putin's early career, particularly his time spent as a KGB operative stationed in East Germany during the waning years of the Cold War. However, the dissolution of Vladimir Putin's marriage to Lyudmila Alexandrovna Putin is a subject that has sparked widespread speculation and intrigue with media reports suggesting that the rift stemmed from the president's alleged infidelity with renowned gymnast Alina Kabaeva. This purported affair has been the subject of intense scrutiny, fueled by rumors suggesting that Kabaeva may have borne four children, fathered by Putin. The narrative surrounding Putin's marriage paints a complex picture of a relationship marred by secrecy and betrayal. While Lyudmila Putin, in public appearances, often spoke glowingly of her husband, portraying him as a gentle and caring father, the cracks in their marriage became increasingly apparent as whispers of infidelity swirled through the corridors of power. One particular anecdote, recounted in Putin's biography, first person, an astonishingly frank self-portrait, sheds light on the dynamics of their relationship and hints at the underlying tensions that ultimately led to its demise. In this revealing account, Lyudmila describes a pivotal moment in which Putin, seemingly plagued by self-doubt and introspection, broached the subject of their future together. During a dinner in their shared home, Putin reportedly embarked on a candid conversation with Lyudmila, acknowledging his own shortcomings and expressing doubts about his suitability as a life partner. So far, understand what kind of person I am. I'm generally not easy. Putin is said to have remarked, revealing a rare moment of vulnerability. He confessed to being self-critical and prone to sharpness, fearing that he may not measure up to the expectations of a devoted spouse. For Lyudmila, this confession sounded like a veiled attempt by Putin to justify a potential separation, a sentiment she later expressed in interviews. He was very self-critical, he spoke like a silent guy, and he knew how to be sharp and insult people she recounted, suggesting that Putin may have been searching for a pretext to end their marriage. The intricate dynamics of Vladimir Putin's courtship with Lyudmila Alexandrovna. Putin offer a compelling glimpse into the evolution of their relationship, from tentative beginnings to a profound declaration of love and commitment. The narrative of their courtship unfolds against the backdrop of Soviet-era Russia, a time marked by societal shifts and personal transformations. Their initial encounter occurred in the early 1980s, a period characterized by the unique blend of tradition and modernity that defined Soviet society. Lyudmila, then working as a flight attendant, occupied a coveted position within the rigid hierarchy of the Soviet airline industry. 
It was through a mutual friend that the paths of Lyudmila and Vladimir crossed, setting the stage for a fateful encounter that would alter the course of their lives. Their first meeting, set against the backdrop of a theatrical performance, laid the foundation for a friendship that would blossom into something more profound. Initially, Putin approached the relationship with a sense of pragmatism, viewing marriage as a distant possibility rather than an immediate priority. First, we were friends with my future wife. I assumed that if I did not get married in the next two or three years, I would never do that. I got used to a bachelor life, Putin reminisced in later years. However, Lyudmila's presence in his life proved transformative challenging his assumptions and reshaping his outlook on love and commitment. Her warmth, grace, and unwavering support breathed new life into Putin's world, prompting him to reconsider his stance on marriage and bachelorhood. Lyudmila has changed that radically, Putin admitted, acknowledging the profound impact of their relationship on his personal trajectory. The marriage between Vladimir and Lyudmila Putin evolved over the decades into a complex tapestry of joy and sorrow, affection and detachment. Lyudmila's acceptance of Vladimir's proposal ushered in a new chapter in their lives, one defined by the joys and challenges of parenthood. The birth of their two daughters, Maria and Ekaterina, served as a testament to their shared commitment to family and tradition. Maria, affectionately known as Masha, and Ekaterina, fondly referred to as Katya, were named after their grandmothers, a nod to the familial bonds that anchored the Putin household. Their early years were spent in East Germany, where Vladimir was stationed as a KGB operative before the family returned to Russia in 1996. Despite the demands of his burgeoning political career, Vladimir remained a doting father, showering his daughters with love and affection. Lyudmila, in contrast, assumed the role of disciplinarian, tasked with instilling values of responsibility and discipline in their children. Her acknowledgement of Vladimir's exceptional paternal qualities underscored the depth of his devotion to his daughters. Not all fathers are as loving children as he is. Lyudmila remarked, highlighting Vladimir's unwavering commitment to his role as a parent. However, as their marriage progressed, cracks began to appear in the facade of domestic bliss. Vladimir's ascension to political power coincided with a gradual erosion of intimacy and connection within the marriage. Allegations of his coldness and indifference towards Lyudmila surfaced, casting a shadow over their once cherished union. The strains of Vladimir's political ambitions weighed heavily on their relationship, exacerbating tensions and sowing seeds of discord. Lyudmila's observations of his growing distance and disinterest served as a poignant reminder of the toll that power and prestige can exact on even the strongest of bonds. As Vladimir's stature on the world stage continued to rise, so too did the rift between husband and wife. In the twilight of their marriage, Lyudmila's behavior grew increasingly erratic, a reflection of the turmoil brewing beneath the surface. The world watched with bated breath as rumors swirled and speculations mounted, sensing that the end of Putin's marriage was imminent. By the time Lyudmila confirmed their separation, the writing was already on the wall, a poignant testament to the inevitability of change and the transient nature of human relationships. Lyudmila's public acknowledgement of their separation shed light on the underlying reasons behind their decision, citing the challenges posed by their increasingly divergent paths in life. We are divorcing because we can barely see each other, Lyudmila revealed, encapsulating the bittersweet reality of a relationship strained by the demands of time and circumstance. With their children having embarked on their own journeys and their lives, taking divergent trajectories, the once inseparable couple found themselves drifting apart, their shared existence gradually giving way to individual pursuits. Despite the end of their marital bond, Lyudmila expressed gratitude towards Vladimir for his unwavering support throughout their years together. I thank Vladimir for all the support so far she remarked, 
highlighting the enduring friendship that underpinned their relationship even in its twilight. Following the divorce, Lyudmila retreated from the public eye, choosing to navigate the aftermath of their separation with a measure of privacy and discretion. Her absence from public engagements and media scrutiny afforded her the opportunity to embark on a new chapter in her life away from the spotlight. In January 2016, reports emerged suggesting that Lyudmila had entered into a new relationship with businessman Artur Sergeyevich Ocheretny, a man significantly younger than her. While these rumors circulated widely in the media, neither Lyudmila nor Vladimir publicly confirmed or denied the speculation surrounding her personal life. The silence maintained by both parties regarding Lyudmila's alleged remarriage served to underscore the respect and dignity with which they approached the intricacies of their private lives. Despite the dissolution of their marriage, they remained steadfast in their commitment to maintaining a sense of decorum and discretion, shielding their personal affairs from the prying eyes of the public. Vladimir's refusal to comment on Lyudmila's rumored remarriage further emphasized the boundaries he established between his public and private personas. By maintaining a respectful distance from his ex-wife's personal affairs, he demonstrated a commitment to upholding the sanctity of their past relationship while allowing each other the freedom to pursue a happiness on their own terms. Now that the dust has settled, we have learned about Lyudmila's secret life. The revelation of Lyudmila Putin's marriage to Arthur Ocheretny, a man significantly younger than her, sent shockwaves through Russian society, sparking a frenzy of speculation and intrigue. At the age of 58, Lyudmila's decision to enter into a union with a 37-year-old man raised eyebrows and fueled rumors about the nature of their relationship. The circumstances surrounding their marriage took an unexpected turn when reports surfaced, alleging that Lyudmila and Arthur had sought refuge in a villa amidst a storm of controversy. An article published by the International Corruption and Crime Investigation Project, OCCRP, claimed that Arthur owned a lavish 7.46 million mansion in a village in southwestern France a property acquired just six months after the confirmation of Lyudmila's divorce from Vladimir Putin. The timing of the villa's purchase, coupled with the staggering price tag, cast a shadow of suspicion over Lyudmila and Arthur's newfound wealth. The revelation of their luxurious acquisition raised questions among the Russian public about the source of their affluence and the legitimacy of their financial dealings. The intricate web of connections surrounding Arthur Osharetny, Lyudmila Putin's new husband, adds further layers of complexity to the ongoing saga of their marriage and financial affairs. Osharetny's role as the head of the Nonprofit Center for the Development of Interpersonal Communication, a project associated with Lyudmila Putin, offers a tantalizing glimpse into the interplay between personal relationships and professional endeavors. Prior to assuming his position at the Center for the Development of Interpersonal Communication, Ocharetny's career trajectory included stints at an agency specializing in event organization with a particular focus on government clients. While the salaries of directors at Russian non-governmental organizations typically do not reach exorbitant levels, Ocharetny's newfound wealth raises questions about the sources of his affluence and the nature of his professional activities. The lack of substantial projects associated with Ocharetny's name further complicates the narrative, casting doubt on the origins of his wealth and the legitimacy of his financial dealings. Despite his relatively modest professional background, Ocharetny's sudden acquisition of a multi-million dollar mansion in France suggests a level of financial means beyond what would typically be expected. Moreover, there is scant evidence to suggest that Lyudmila Putin herself possesses significant financial resources. Following her divorce from Vladimir Putin, she would have been required by law to disclose her assets and income, yet official records fail to reveal any substantial figures.
While rumors abound regarding Lyudmila's purported lavish lifestyle, the absence of concrete evidence complicates attempts to unravel the truth behind her financial situation. Nevertheless, observations of Lyudmila's lifestyle paint a picture of opulence and extravagance that seems at odds with the modesty typically associated with public figures in Russia. Despite her efforts to maintain a low profile, whispers of her luxurious existence persist, fueling speculation about the true extent of her wealth and influence. What do you think about the current life of Putin's ex-wife? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.